Hi all, it's Barb going to teach my crafts today. We have a haul today. It's mainly Hobby Lobby clearance. Be right back. This one's mainly Happy Lobby Clearance. Is it just me or have I been on with a lot of hauls lately? <laughs> I'm trying to be better, but I've seen people sharing Hobby Lobby stuff, so I had to go there when we were out. I bought this set of letters in red and a set in purple. When I go next week, I'm going to check it again because they have a blue set. I'm going to pick it up. Morbid alert. <laughs> I'm putting these in my um, Final Wishes binder. <laughs> I also found these graphic pens. I'm pretty sure they're by the same company that does the Micron pens. I think it, I think Sakura does those. But it had different points. As you can see the different tips. And for buck seventy four, I thought I would pick it up. They had a set of the Micron ones in three different colors, but I think I have those. But again, if I'm back next week and they still have them left, I might pick them up because I don't mind having some in reserve. And then I found these heart-shaped gems. I thought those would be nice on some of my um, Valentine-themed projects. And I found the star-shaped ones. Great for patriotic projects. And $4.49 down from $17.99. And you get a lot of gems in there. You know, after I bought them, I thought, uh, now i got to sort them all out by color. <laughs> but that's okay. For now, they might just go in my color cart in those boxes. And then I bought this set. I'm looking for different beads because I'm getting into the, you know, three-tiered tray and all that so that I could make like a strand of beads to put on the tray or trays depending on, you know, my mood. And I was really looking for summer ones and I suppose I could use these on summer. But I, I was thinking more spring for these. Um, there is a set on Amazon that I really like, but I don't know that I want to spend. I, I think they were more expensive. I'll have to double check the price. I should add it to my honey drop list so if they drop, I can snag them. They had like a watermelon um, colors and kind of design. Some of them even had, you know, that type of, I think they had the green with the stripe. They were supposed to look like little watermelons. And that would fit perfect with my summer theme. <laughs> That's all I bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, we shop at a store called Meijer. It's M-E-I-J-E-R. It's a Midwest. They sell a little bit of everything. Grocery, clothes, you know, kind of like a Walmart type store. They, they don't like that reference, but it really is what they're like. But I picked up some of these. Um, I picked up a white pack and a silver pack. I probably should have. They were a dollar each. I probably should have picked up a couple of each because I'm using them on my Christmas cards. And, and then I bought four of these at Target. They're by Bright Room. They measure nine inches long by six inches wide by six and a half inches high. My Tiffany Slide Station store, the one that was wide enough, was too tall to fit on the shelf. 
in my kitchen and there was really no in the refrigerator there was no way to adjust it so that the ones on each shelf would fit because the top one's already as high up as it will go and the bottom one's as low as it'll go <laughs> so that middle one's the only one I can adjust and I can't really make it any lower because then the stuff underneath it won't fit and I can't go and higher won't help me so I took a measurement and I can fit four of these on the one half shelf so I'm going to use these for I need to make some labels on my Cricut Joy I'm going to use these to put my every plate meal ingredients in I get I get four a week now so this is, I'll just have four of these in there and on the shelf and I can put the ingredients in there and the other day I threw, threw one in there and I was like that doesn't need to be refrigerated I said yeah, but I don't think it'll hurt it now when all the ingredients are together. I, I don't know that I'll always do that, but I just happened to do it last week. But that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to try to get that done. Today, I really need to clean in my craft room. I was going to do it... One day last week, I was going to clean in here. And I did clean up a little bit, so it isn't as bad as it was, though. Now I've piled more stuff up, so it may be as bad as it was. <laughs> but then I had to clean another room. And then I was going to do it this week, and my sister called, and she delivered. My daughters took a hutch and a couple of cubing cubed units that she's not going to take with her when she moves. And I, I've got a couple of her bookcases. And she goes, I'm not sure if we'll bring that over, you know, before we leave or after we get back. So I spent the day, the next day cleaning up the dining room so that it would be easy to put those where, getting the old shelves emptied so we can get either get rid of them or relocate them. I relocated one of them, but um, I'm not sure about the other one yet right now. I just kind of stuck it on the back porch and I'll decide later. It may be down the road after I finish the garage because then I'll know what space I have. Um, but I'm like, I better get that done in case she does bring it over, you know, tonight. She didn't. <laughs> Hubby goes, well, you could have just waited. I said, but I said, if I hadn't done it, she would have brought it over. And then where would I have put those? I said, that stuff can just sit in the boxes that I put it in until she gets back from her trip. And um, we can, I can put things back up. I said, I'm thinking about rearranging a little bit how... The stuff was on there anyway so and because he's like you probably didn't need to empty all three of them you really only needed to empty one I said well I knew I wanted to move the one of the I was hoping to keep the tall one the tallest one of the bookcases because I had three I had one tall one and two short ones and she's got a tall and a short I said but I kind of like to have the tall one because I mean it takes up the same amount of floor space but it gives you more storage and I want to kind of relocate my books so I'm going to need those and I, I want them all in one place so I wanted the two tall books tall bookcases because of that but we'll see how that goes I'm still not sure they'll all fit in one place but I'm gonna try it <laughs> I'd still love to I'm, I, I'm still and I can drop a hint every now and then that it would be nice to have my craft room all in one place I think what I'm gonna have to do is temporarily once I get the dining room completely cleaned up because it's not completely cleaned up it was cleaned up enough to store those is um, move my sewing down temporarily so and then finish the couple projects that I have in progress and then I think the sewing's just going to have to go because I know my stand-up desk needs to go it's it's just too tight in here I love the stand-up desk um, I film videos from it. I do cutting from it. Well, I film certain videos from it, but there's just not enough space. And it's funny when I did it that way, I was fine with it. I was fine with it for the first couple of months. And then I think the illness just kind of kicked in a little bit and put me into overdrive on things. And it just, I said, no, it bugs me. <laughs> I said I, I really would like to be downstairs so I could put because I really don't want to give up the sewing but I'd like to have paper craft in one room and sewing in the other but have them right next to each other so because yeah I could probably figure out a way to put some of the sewing downstairs permanently but I don't really want to be on two floors with stuff so 
but that's where I stand. I chatted way too long. <laughs> Hope you don't mind that. If if you do, you just stop when I start getting chit chatty. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I purchased this week. Um, I could get to the other Hobby Lobby. I'd like to check there because I wondered if they had any other bead sets that might work. This one was called, called Bubblegum, and I really do like the colors. And I suppose it could work for summer. I kind of go for the bold, bright colors for summer. A few of these kind of fit that, but and then the pastels I tend to think of more of as spring or Easter, <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe I can find a few, use these and maybe find a few other colored ones. I might even have some in my bead drawer, but I didn't have enough to do what I wanted. So I'm trying to pick up beads as I see them on clearance so that I have things on hand when I'm ready to go to the next project. But I'm hoping to do another project video this week. I probably aren't going to, I'm not going to have a lot of stuff, but I do, do have a few things to share. But thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.